Hi, welcome to Tech Savvy by New Fathom. Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up OpenDNS for your home so that you can protect your network from uh, people stumbling onto bad content that they shouldn't be uh, getting onto. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to open up, you can either Google search or you can just type it directly in, but I'm going to uh, go to OpenDNS.com and we're going to set up a new account with OpenDNS. And so next we're going to click on consumer, unless you're uh, a business, but click on consumer. And then they have all these different plans. Uh, most of them are free, but I'm going to set up this OpenDNS home. Uh, this is also a good one. It's pre-configured, but this gives you a little bit more customization. And so I'm going to set this one. So we're going to type in all of our stuff, our email address. We're going to confirm the email address. We're going to say where we are. And then you're going to create a password and then click create free account. So once you set up the, your account, <clears throat> it's going to take you to this page and it's going to give you two of what is called name servers. And so there's this one right here that ends in .222 and this one that ends in .220. And so what you're going to do is you're going to log into your router and there's some instructions right here if you forget them. And so it'll tell you basically every type of router uh, that you would need to, to set that up. And so they give you even based on the model. And so it's really cool. Those steps will walk you through it. I'm just going to show you a couple really easy ones and kind of what it looks like uh, to set that up. So you, you use these two numbers. So the first thing I'm going to show you is a Linksys router. So if you click in here on your Linksys router, um, right here, right when you get into the basic setup, it's going to have this thing that says uh, static DNS. And so right here, you're going to enter in those numbers that you got from open DNS. So 208, 208, 208, 67, and then it ends in 222, 222, 222. And then DNS number two, you're going to do, it's the same number, it just ends a little differently. Then it's 220. So there you go. So once you put this static DNS, and then you just click save. And then that has set that up. This is a fake uh, website, so you won't actually get this URL. In a Netgear, it's very similar. It's just right here. <clears throat> when it loads into the, um, you're gonna go to basic settings. And then right down here, you, usually these routers are set to get automatically from your ISP, but you're just gonna wanna check use these DNS servers. And here's where you're going to type in 208 67 and then 208 67 220. And then you just click apply, and it's going to, uh, that will actually work if that's your router. If it's an ASUS router, it's just a little bit differently, but it's it's right here. <clears throat> if you click on, it's gonna normally it'll load you up in this network map um, area, and so you want to click here, and then right over here it's gonna say go to WAN wide area network settings. You click go, and it's gonna say right here WAN DNS settings. Connect to DNS server automatically. They're gonna say yes. We're going to actually say no, and this is where we're going to use that 208-67-222-222-208-67-222-220, which are the same ones right here. So that's how you do it in an ASUS. And then just... So when you go into the D-Link right here, you just go into this you can use the wizard if you want, but you can also just click manual configuration right here. And then these are the uh, changes that you're going to make. You're going to just change this to the 208.67.222.222. .222 .222. 
and then 208.67.222.220. And then you're just going to go to where it says save, save settings right here, boom. <clears throat> and then that is set up. So there are a lot of other options. If you're, um, the open DNS thing will actually walk you th right through your specific router if you need those instructions and they do a good job of that. But that's it. That's all there is to it. Um, the next thing that you can do. So once you've pointed those, uh, to there, you actually want to go back to open DNS and you want to log in. And so this is where you're going to enter in your email and your password that you just did into your account. So once you get logged in, you're going to click here and you're going to say add a network. And as long as you're on the network that you want, you're going to see the IP address right up here. And so you can just type that in. Add this network. And then after you've added your network, you're going to see a link right here. And you just click on the IP address. And this is where you can customize your filtering settings. So you can choose high, low, medium, whatever you want on there, and it'll block it specifically. So this basic one is just going to block against <clears throat> pornography. Uh, the moderate, which is the one that I have set up, is going to block against adult-related sites and illegal activity. And then if you want to look at that, you can also go in here and customize it and just decide like what things do you want to, to block. And so you can choose, if you do choose, like, uh, you could do social media, I believe is one of the, yeah, social networking. So that's going to block all of, like, Facebook and Instagram and all those things. So you may have to play around with this for a while to see what is a good setting, but then you just click apply, and then it will uh, customize that setting for you. So there you go. There's a lot of in detailed instructions in here. It's really easy to use, and I just uh, recommend you could, uh, take a look at that, and hopefully uh, that will work well for you. Thank you very much, and hope you have a great day. Also, subscribe to our channel. We'd love to uh, produce more great content that helps people like you to be tech savvy.